Hallelujah. Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. My name is Matt. Today marks the seventh day of the Minnesota Whiskey Elite Blind Whiskey Tasting Advent Calendar for Whiskey Lovers and Lovers of Lovers. Presented to you by me, ADHD Whiskey. If you're a week late, let me catch you up. Blind box of 25 samples. I take the one marked number seven out of the box, I pour it in a glass, I swirl it, I twirl it, I nose it, I taste it, I review it. I give it a numerical score based off my little scoring system, and then I reveal the pour, and we all giggle about how correct I was about every aspect of that whiskey. Because guess what? I'm super smart, 4% of the time. The other 96% of the time, I delete. I don't show that, I never do. Why would I? Unless there are any objections, let's get to day number seven, or forever hold your peace. Round one, drink, doot. Doot, 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 doot. Day number seven. America, find a clean glass. Smells clean enough. Day number seven is in the glass, and the color, I would say, is very nice. A very nice, beautiful, golden color. Like if your favorite graham-flavored cereal as a child grew up into a glorious golden whiskey when it got older. It's like if golden grams turned liquid and then could get you slammed. Slammered. <laughs> Giving it the old whiskey twister, the legs of this whiskey are forming nicely on the side of the glass. I don't much mention legs, but sometimes I notice them and when I do, I just like to shout it out loud. If you see something, say something. Let's go in for a nose, day number seven, to see how she goes. Ooh. Hmm. That reminds me of a delicious Pauline. Pauline, 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 Pow, 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 Pooty, Pow, Pow. It's a friggin' cookie hey, hey, sandwich. It's a cookie sandwich. Shrimp, baby, Z. me like one of those. Oh, pow, pow, pow. Doesn't start with P. Why do I keep saying P words? Um. Oh, what the hell is it called? I hate it when I can't remember the name of a friggin' cookie. It's embarrassing. It's like a cookie sandwich with a delicious cream in the middle. They're extremely expensive typically if you get good ones. They're sold at like coffee shops and really good bakeries. I'm gonna think of the word in three seconds, I know it. It smells like a delicious shitball. I can't think of it. Oh man, I'm gonna phone a friend. Who would know what a delicious cream filled cookie would be called? Oh, I know. Calling Ryan Alves of Justin's House of Bourbon and Bourbon Outfitter, the best bourbon shop online. Use code ADHD at checkout, save 5%. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Ugh. That was a fast rejection. I'll think of it eventually. A little bit of caramelized oak on here. A familiar nose it is, reminding me already of a wild turkey product possibly, or maybe a Four Roses, or Old Forester, or Buffalo Trace, or MGP, or maybe a Barton product. Can't quite put my finger on it. Initial thoughts is this is probably a bourbon, not a rye, but I've been tricked before by those tricky low rye ryes that just catch me by surprise when I open these envelopes. A somewhat basic nose, nothing crazy is happening in this glass, which isn't a bad thing at all. Sometimes you just want something that's like kind of straightforward. As you dive through the layers of normalness, you start to pick up maybe like a little bit of fig or maybe a raisin, like a grape who drank all night the day before a marathon. Yes. There's a little bit of what I call a bird's nest nose. It's like an outdoorsy liquid stick-like structure that's presenting itself as that. Ryan. What's up, buddy? Hey, it's, it's Matt. I, I know that. What's hey, up? It's Matt Porter. Um, so I'm shooting Advent video and okay. I, I need help with the word because sometimes that happens. Okay. Um, All right. And I was like, who better to call than you and nobody? So right. it's in the food category. Let's focus on like um, a luxury cookie. 
eh, maybe co okay. coffee shops and shit. And there's like a cream in the middle of it. And they come in like six packs. They're multicolored. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a, um, a, uh, uh, macaroon. I'm fucking macaroon. Yes. Macaroon, yep. Yeah. Oh, man, I knew you would know it. Macaroon, yep. I don't know why I thought it started with a P. A macaroon. No, I don't know. macaroon, yep. Yeah. Well, no, you just, you, it's definitely not a macaroon. Uh, well, there, there's two, there's two different words. There's, maybe it's not macaroon, but there's like two different words. And they're two different sweets. I think you're thinking of a mac and cheese. I'm not thinking of mac and cheese. <laughs> All right, yeah. Macaroon, and then there's... There, I think there's maybe two versions of it or something. It doesn't smell like a macaroon anymore. Maybe a little bit. This video is going poorly. I understand that and I'm very sorry. Uh, uh, Sean says hi. Nick Jones says hi. Oh, tell Nick I said hi. <laughs> tell Nick I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the palette. Day number seven down the hatch. first sip overwhelms me with familiarity. I feel like this is something I've had before, if not multiple times. If it's not something I had before, then I feel like I've had something similar. It's very classic. It's poking me in all the right places. It's not sweet enough to be MGP or Buffalo Trace. It's not nutty enough to be a Jim Beam or Heaven Hill product. This has gotta be a Wild Turkey or a Four Roses. It's not a very complex pour. It's spicy, it's peppery. It's barrel chari. It's just very classic. It's just a very classic bourbon. I would call this probably a little over 100 proof, 105-ish. There is some woody oak qualities to it, but nothing that's screaming extra aged. And on the flip side, there are no young youthful notes in here either. I'm guessing this is whiskey's gotta be probably around eight years old. It's like, I know what it's not, but I can't quite exactly know what it is. The more I nose it, the more I'm honing in on different notes. There is a little bit of nuttiness if I dive deep in here. This has gotta be a turkey product. If one of those stupid sports betting sites gave me free money to bet on what this is, cause I wouldn't bet my money on it. Unless of course I had to. I would bet that this is a wild turkey product. And the more I nose it, the more I friggin' like it. I could sit here and smell it all night and talk about what I think it possibly could be, but there's only one way to find out for sure, and that's for me to rip open that envelope. Before I do the reveal, I need to give it a score. On the seventh day of the Minnesota Whiskey Elite Blind Whiskey Tasting Advent Calendar, the seventh day, the seventh pour gets a very good score of 7.7. .7. Now let's see what we were drinking. We were drinking. Hmm? I guess I was pretty friggin' right on this one. Awesome. Right there. Right there it is. This is Russell's Reserve Single Barrel picked by 1010 Washington Wine and Spirits, nine years old. Camp Nelson Warehouse A, floor 510 proof. Day number seven comes with a shout out to Don Hansen at 1010 Washington Wine and Spirits in downtown Mini Friggin'Apolis for letting us purchase these bottles for this year's advent calendar. Don Hansen, Awesome Russell's pick and super cool of you to let those guys spend money in your store. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you're still here. My name is Matt. This is ADHD Whiskey. Like I always say, keep your head in the clouds, but your mind on phoning a friend when you need some help. Even if it's just thinking of a name of a food you can't remember. I knew Ryan would know that. He's so smart and he's a foodie. He knows his way through a menu. Again, thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow for day number eight. Have a great day, Al. Bye.